Hey, Paris. How'd it go today? Uh, good. <laughs> good. Uh, what did you want to show today that people didn't know about you before? I mean, so you're kind of like in front of a big crowd, at least. Your last chance to put your best foot forward. What, what do you think you got accomplished? Um, I think, uh, I think honestly, I think people kind of knew the, the way I played, and I think they knew what I had. But I think it's also great for people to be, you know, this close and to see it for themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Again. To, to, to confirm it. So I think to be able to show how fast my feet move, um, how I can take in the coaching, how I'll keep going, and the conditioning of the pro day, being able to do the drills, and me and Luke back to back, back to back. So I think to be able to show all that was awesome. And I, I, I loved the opportunity to compete today. It's fun. I was going to say, I was, I was telling Luke, it was like watching a heavyweight fight between you two guys and some of those drills, except y'all both agreed not to hit each other in the head. <laughs> but but the intensity was there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it was. And the, I mean, how, how important is it to show the violence for? To a, to one, for one of another term that you're capable of. Well, I mean, if you don't have the violence, then you're not going to make it even Ohio State. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think being able to show as much as I can in a you know, controlled environment, I'm not trying to pancake Luke into the stands. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think, you know, he's not trying to do the same thing to me either, but at the same time, that's what, that's what we train. That's what we train for is pro day together. We train for giving each other that look, that feel, because... That's what's going to take the next level. So, I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to necessarily save him. He's not trying to save me. We're taking care of each other. Yeah. Because both got the same goal, you know. Do, do, are there nerves right now for you? Or do you feel like, you know, you have proven what you can do, meaning uh, the draft's going to go pretty well for you? I mean, how, how, what, what is that sense? You know what I mean? Because it um, still comes down to a team going, yeah, we I want mean, that guy to I don't. Guy. I mean, I don't have any you know, nerves. I don't, I don't have any nerves about it. Yeah. I feel like the way I feel is like um, everything that's led to this moment has been written by God before, and I'm just now in this chapter. So I feel like for me, I feel like so I prayed about before I came out here is to remind myself like, this is my kingdom, this is where I'm supposed to be in this moment. If you have the approach that you are supposed to be here right now to interview me, to tell the story that you want to tell, and that by God you were destined to do this, and you won't be nervous about any approach you have. So I feel like that's kind of how I try to like, like how I try, try to do that with everything. With every interview, every showing is that I'm meant to be. So I don't have nerves. And I feel like when it happens, that they'll make the best decision for the franchise. And I know that I can be a great addition to the franchise. As you as you exit, what is your is your legacy as much? What you've done off the field is it on the field? Do you feel really proud of what you've accomplished? over your football career so far. You understand what I'm saying? It, yeah, I mean, you, I feel like in, order, path, in you know? order to create a uh, like legacy off the field, you got to start from one on. Yeah. You know, so I think me being able to take care of that first and foremost. Um, and then when I have opportunities off the field, how I spend my free time being able to help other people. I think it's been cool and being able to, to give back to people that way and build that legacy because, you know, your legacy off the field sometimes is going to last longer in communities than what you get on the field. I mean, being able to impact somebody's day, losing even normal football player, their you know, living situation, the situation where they can't care about football because it's not going to get them through the day. You want to impact those people, that's a legacy of me to them that's, that they'll never set the field. So, you know, How a uh, great, great. Um, I just finished up two meetings before I came back out of here. I thought they were, were both great, and, um, and um, I just love to learn. I, I love to meet the coaches, and um, I think I came away with um, an awesome experience. And, you know, it was awesome to be able to connect the coaches one on one to get to know about them, sure about about myself. So I love it. Any particular teams show mutual interest? Um, yeah, I mean, honestly. Um, Really, all of them. I mean, I wouldn't say I've like met a team that's like, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> so I would say I've met a lot of um, positive um, energy from a lot of coaches, and I feel like I uh, reciprocated that. And I know, you know, when the time comes, and, and, uh, I feel like you know, it, it, it just happened. Do you, do you have a feeling about Tennessee, though? I mean, Tennessee seems to be showing a lot of interest. Do you have a sense about Tennessee right now? Huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I do. I mean, I feel I can't say I can't say I don't. I, I don't have a sense of any team. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like I do. Um, I like Coach Vrabel, and he's talking to me a lot today. I think I had a good performance with him, and I talked with Taylor at the combine, and you know, he said, you know, 
know, he was telling me, you know, what it would be to be the, the next topic there too, so Tennessee too. So he's a good guy. I've talked to him. You played with Nick. Combine. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it'd be cool. I mean, me and Nick spent I spent a whole first year trying to try, trying to, um, to to beat him out for a spot. So now it'd be nice if we both have our we both have our own spots. So <laughs> yeah. that would be kind of nice, you know. So it'd be fun to to, to work with him. Have that communication with him would be cool, you know. With the draft here on the corner, I mean, how excited and surreal is this one? Uh, no, it's crazy. I mean, I've been waiting through since I was five years old. And, you know, so I've been preparing for this. Sorry about I'm, I'm preparing for, I'm preparing for, this, for this, this pro day for 16 years. 16 years, you know what I mean? So, this is my first dream. So, to be able to continue to chase that is awesome. So. Where are you going to be that day, that night, excuse me? At Kansas City, okay. sitting with my family, with a little suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Perry. Which, which all uh, teams do you have schedules right now? Uh, which all teams do you have busy schedules with right now? Um, I'll let those drop naturally. <laughs> when I, you'll see uh, via Instagram start with a little boomerang. You know, so I'm yeah. gonna do it. You know, so. I know, you know, one people have wondered about, you know, the Bears trading down. Could that be a spot for you, Justin? Is that something you've thought about at all? That chance of potentially reuniting? Yeah, Justin? yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I just had a great talk with the um, Bears offensive line coach, I mean, amazing guy. I talked with Justin uh, about four days ago, um, so I think be able to keep up with him. And to me, he's like a, a big bro to me. You know, when I came in as a recruit, he used to he look after me. You know, um, so my mom was really tight with his mom. So whenever I came up here, you know, I know I was going to be with him. So I'm uh, going to be able to play him my freshman year and stuff like that. And um, I think just being able to play with him again and be able to protect him, I think that'd be full circle. He came in when I was still learning. Now I'm here. I'm, I'm ready to go and now to take care. I think it'd be really super cool, you know? You talked to the O-line coach today? Yeah, I did. Have you had a chance to talk with Coach Eberflus of the Bears or not yet? Could be that. Have you had a chance to talk with Coach Eberflus of the Bears? He was here today, or uh, yes, I yes I did. I did. What was that conversation like? I, did. I mean, it was, it was all good. I don't know, I'm getting details right now. <laughs> I want to ask you too. I know that you you got accepted into a master's program here at Ohio State. Just kind of what made you want to pursue continuing your education here? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, part of the reason when you come here, you hear about that you can um, they can pay for your degree for like ten years or so. So I was like, I'm gonna just sign up. May do it. May not. but to have it, I think just to have the opportunity for the next ten years, do it is awesome. So I think to me, it's, it's huge and. My mom' education is huge, but for me, um, I accomplished my initial goal of being able to, to get my undergrad. So. How important was that for you, just to leave Ohio State knowing you had that degree in hand? That was huge because that means I really don't have a responsibility to come back and sit in the classroom <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I felt like for me, it was a goal of mine. When I came here. I don't know how many first round picks came to Ohio State with a degree in three years. You know what I mean? You don't see it that often. So I feel like with me, I always like to do other things that people haven't. You know, like always they change things in my family that I just haven't been able to do, right? So I think when I came here and I saw that, I saw that pattern, I'm like, well, why can't I do that? You know what I mean? I guess nobody's had a goal to do both. Some of you have a goal to do one, have a goal to do the other. They don't see it's possible to do both. And I want to do both, you know, so. And now you just get to focus on football. Yeah. Glad we took it. Having Ohio State be a program that produces, you know, one of the, if not the most draft picks every year. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome, man. It's awesome to be a part of, um, you know, this this team, be a part of this this organization. Honestly, you know, the reason why you know, Ohio State produces what they do, it's not just because we like wear the logo and we're gonna go, you know, NFL. I think it's the people with, like it's Coach Mick, you know, it's Coach Fry, Mike Salini. You know, Coach Bay, you know, it's, it's all the coaches in here that I feel like, I think when they come here and they, the logo does change a little bit, it's that, it's that, it's the standard, it's the standard you have to keep. So I think the coaches, <clears throat> it's like the way they've done things, they've kept that standard. And they, you know, when you come here, you got to keep that standard the other guys came before. So, you know, I feel like it's the people in the building that really helped. You, you play against two right 